the thing, Mike Bliss has not made any mistakes. He's running that high line. He's running it consistently. The only way Jason was allowed to close up, they ran into some heavy traffic and like got Jason within a half a second. But then that, that differential has stabilized, and Mike Bliss right now he has got one left to go. As the white flag raised, Mike Bliss brings the IWX Motor Freight Chevrolet up the back straightaway in turns three and four. Mike Bliss has the margin. Six truck lengths over Jason Leffler. And Mike Bliss will come out of turn four and take the victory at Pike's Peak. Good job, everybody. You won it off your Mike Bliss becomes the fifth different winner in NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series action in as many races this year. Let's check in down in the Bliss Pits with Ray. Finished second. Wide flag this time by by Alan Porter. Bliss the leader. Setzer in second. Presley is third. Crawford fourth. Leffler fifth. Terry Cook back in sixth. The 20 truck of Ford gets his seventh, and David Starr resumes his top ten finishing spots in eight spot. Those eight trucks on the lead lap. Final lap for Mike Bliss, 37 year old Milwaukee, Oregon driver, IWX Chevrolet. And Bliss brings Chevrolet his first win at Kentucky Speedway. That's the best racer I've ever had in my life on a race. Excellent that's my Bliss right there. He said that's the best race truck he's ever had in his life. And he has had a lot of it. What a job by Mike Bliss. Day feud, senior and junior, John Bossom. We'll talk to the victorious IWX crew when we come back to Victory Lane in just a moment. So we are in overtime here. Here we go. Green, white, checkered. Can Bliss hold them off? There's the green flag. It'll be white and then checkered. Setzer, Coy Gibbs, Crawford are thirsty back there. Crawford is hungry. Setzer wants his second short track win. Here's Crawford going to the attack on Coy Gibbs. Oh, Brendan Gaughan turning around. Brendan Gaughan spins around, and the yellow will come out, and we're going to do it all over again. Grab your partner and do si -do. We're going to go green, white, and checkered again here in the crowd. I love this room. I love this room. NASCAR's Craftsman Trucks, not... And they are waving the checkered flag now as they put out the yellow flag and the checkered flag, but never the white. I never saw the white flag. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the call is going to be there. And, Ray, we never saw the white flag come out. A absolutely, Jerry, I did. The white was out before the yellow came out. Mike Bliss had crossed the really line. Really Probably job. the first four or five trucks were across the line. Mike Bliss did not receive the yellow. He is your victor here. And we can jump in here and talk to his crew chief, Dave Fuge. Dave, this is a truck you guys were going to sell. You didn't like it at all. Had a battery problem, lost a cylinder. Mike said, let's get rid of it. I bet you're glad you kept it. Well, right now we are. I think we exercised the demons in Richmond. We finished third there, had a pretty good race. Uh, man, what a great race. That truck was awesome. And uh, what a great day. What more can I say? Final lap in the 2002 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. One to go. Ron Hornaday Jr. making only his second start of the season. Winning his driver in NASCAR's Craftsman Trucks. Looks like he will sail on to win. There is Hornaday. And what a special day for IWX. They have team trucks. It looks like Hornaday in one truck will win the race, but here's the guy that has won the war of nerves. In turn three, out of turn four comes Ron Hornaday. Hornaday wins at Homestead. And here out of turn four, top of your screen, Mike Bliss becomes the 2002 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. What a great day at the measure for IWX. Two trucks in the top five. Ron Hornaday is a bit of insurance. Wins the race. They said they wanted him to win the race. And he won the race. Can't ask for more than that. And let's go down to the middle of Bedlam as Ray Dunlap down in the IWX pits. Ray? Well, certainly a well-deserved celebration. Uh, five victories. Well, now six, really, if you count Hornaday. It's just a great season. Congratulations. You guys are the champs. Unbelievable. 
absolutely unbelievable from where we came from earlier this year we didn't even know if we were going to race the whole year and now we're sitting as champions i'd like to thank the hundreds and hundreds of iwx truck drivers and all the employees that make this possible enjoy this celebration this is for everyone involved in iwx ron hornaday mike bliss unbelievable day mike bliss has done a great job all year i don't know what else to say this is unbelievable well it's going to be pretty fun up here on the front stretch so go check it out that's dave Fuchs jr the crew chief here and uh, great celebration for the 16 and the 11 crew on the front stretch and a touching high five by these two teammates there's ron hornaday jr and there is Mike Bliss. Congratulations to Mike, his wife Sue, and daughter Brittany. A difficult week in the house. Not a lot of sleep. A lot of walk in the yard with the flashlight, but it's all worth it because Mike Bliss has become the fifth different driver to win the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series title. He'll sleep like a baby tonight, Doc. Oh, I promise you he will. Well, we'll come back to talk to them all as the celebration is about to begin here at Homestead Miami Speedway. Back in a moment. And here's our fifth NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion as he is climbing out. Let's go down to the championship celebration at Amy East. Five wins, 13 top five finishes, and one heck of a dance. Hammer, show us your championship moves, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> feeling he might be a little sore with that one tomorrow but hey he's the champion he's allowed to do whatever he wants gets a hug and high fives from the entire IWX team Mike the Hammer Bliss nine months ago Hammer we talked at Daytona we were excited you were back in the truck series you'd made full circle but you weren't sure if you were going to be here for the entire season and now you're the champion congratulations unbelievable unbelievable I didn't want to think about this till after the race you know I've been trying not to think about being a champion and with five to go and Ron lead and that was the scenario that this team wanted right here both IWX trucks here in victory land we're a champion feels great. I mean, this is unbelievable. I started tingling about two to go. I told Dave, I'm getting a fuzzy feeling. He said, just keep going. You got two more laps and it's great. Hey, I want to say hi to my wife and uh, Brittany at home. I never, they don't come to races and uh, I never say hi to them. And my little girl always says, I say hi, daddy. So hi, Britt. And there's your mom, Rose. And Art, get in here. Be proud of your son, Mike. This has been great. The entire, oh, Rose, you're in tears. This has been a really emotional ride for you this year, Bliss. Now, I tell you, my mom and dad, you know, if they wouldn't have bring that quarter midget home in 1975, I wouldn't be here racing. Uh, they bring a quarter midget home for Pat and I, and we race, and we've been racing ever since. And without parents like this, I wouldn't be here on this stage. And on the stage he will be in just a few short minutes. We'll have the championship trophy presentation for your 2002 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion, Mike the Hammer Bliss. I want to do the and here are our final championship points. You see the, the final margin of victory, 46 points between Bliss and Crawford. Musgrave uh, back in third. He got close. He just couldn't quite get by Crawford in the final standings. Jason Leffler gains a spot, the fourth spot. David Starr back to fifth. Setzer, Presley, Terry Cook, Travis Quaffel, and Coy Gibbs rounding out a top ten. Gibbs moves on to the NASCAR Bush Series next year, hoping to finish the top ten there. And how about a little best of Mike Bliss? Dancing, moving, oh, ouch. That's going to hurt tomorrow. Back in just a moment. Well, we've made it onto the championship stage. I'm joined now by president of NASCAR, Mr. Helton, for some remarks. Yeah, thank you, Amy. Uh, on behalf of everybody at NASCAR, Mike, congratulations. You've deserved this championship. You worked hard for it. We're proud to have you as our NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. And tomorrow night, we will celebrate that championship in big style at the banquet. But right now, we've got a championship trophy presentation. Mr. Trey Claiborne with Sears. Mike, on behalf of Sears and the more than 300,000 associates that make and sell those wonderful craftsman tools, it is indeed my pleasure to present you with the 2002 championship trophy for you and your IWX Chevrolet team. Congratulations. Mike. Just a few months ago, 
We had a championship photo shoot. We had the top five contenders running for the championship at the time have their picture taken with the trophy. One of those presenters refused to touch it. He's the man that is holding it right now on the center of this stage. Superstitious? You bet. Mike Bliss, your 2002 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. And you couldn't ask for a better uh, series title sponsor. There's Terray Claiborne, Henry Ferris, our, our great friend at Craftsman, Lee Antonio, okay. Rick Gamble and his entire staff, and of course, Mike Hilton, president of NASCAR. Thanks, and you've got to give a call to Bill France Jr. It was his vision eight years ago to allow this series to begin, another national touring series. So, Billy Jr., I know you're watching and listening back home. Thank you so much for giving us some great racing in NASCAR's Craftsman Truck Series. Gary Smith and Kevin Triplett, the wonderful folks at NASCAR. And how about Wayne Auten and his outstanding staff of inspectors as the champagne is flowing down trackside.